Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. My name is um, Alexander Ojimba and today you're watching the, the Soccer Arena. And today's um, topic or the theme for today's show is Wilfred Zaha is the king of the palace. That's, that's Wilfred Zaha there. Yeah, I named the Wilfred Zaha. Is the is the no no yeah. Wilfred Zaha is the king of the palace because I was thinking about this for a very very long time and um, Wilfred Zaha is the king of the palace and um, I just this is just um, a show that I had to make because I was thinking about it for a very long time and I came up with the concept that Wilfred Zaha if he played for Crystal Palace what better title to give the show than Wilfred Zaha is the king of the palace. Is the king of the palace. Yeah, I came up with the idea and the concept that Wilfred Zaha plays for Crystal Palace. And I didn't want to call the program Wilfred Zaha is the, the king of Crystal Palace because we all know that he plays for Crystal Palace. So I came up with the concept that Wilfred Zaha is the king of the palace. Where does a, where does a king live? A king lives in the palace, doesn't he? Crystal Palace. Wilfred Zaha, Crystal Palace, King of the Palace. Uh, enough said. I think you've got. I think you've got um, what I'm trying to say. Um, so um, yeah, Crystal uh, Wilfred Zaha is the King of the Palace. That's the theme of the show today. And I want you also to know what you know already. That Wilfred Zaha is Crystal Palace's FC talisman. A talisman means. Being one of the players, one of the 11 outfield players, and that's the goalkeeper included, but a talisman is that player, like, when the ball gets to him, he's the one that makes the difference. Ronaldinho of Brazil is a talisman. So they pass the ball from defense to midfield, and as soon as they find Ronaldinho, he, he waves his magic. The, the other players, they look away because they know what's happening. They know he can take on three, four players. He's a talisman. JJ Okocha is a talisman. So when he gets the ball, uh, Martins, and Martins gives the ball, Agahawa, and Agahawa gives the ball, Finidi George, Kaan, Ka Okocha! Did you see that? So, so you ask yourself here, yeah, why is the commentator's voice changing? George and George gives it to Taribo West to Okechukuchi. Okechukuchi gives the ball to Iroha. Iroha gives it to Mikel. Okocha! Talisman. That's the word. Talisman. Ronaldinho! He sees a talisman. But what you don't understand as well, because you're watching the soccer arena, is that Pastor Ojimba Alex is a talisman as well. <laughs> Julian Okeke, Julian Okeke gives the ball to um, Wabasi, Wabasi gives the ball to Solo Heat, Solo Heat, he gives the ball to Chimo Binjoko, Chimo Binjoko gives the ball to Ngozi Choma. these are all international players, Ngozi Choma gives the ball to Pastor, Pastor Chimba, talisman, <laughs> but you don't know because of the injury, but once I'm over the injury, you will know what kind of talisman I am, Zidane is a talisman, <laughs> Zidane is a talisman, I'll give you an example, Jokaev gets the ball and he gives it to Desai and Desai gets the ball he gives it to Perez and Perez gets the ball and he gives it to Ram to Ram gives it to Henri when Zidane gets it, Zidane you see talisman the the commentator goes crazy as well so Zaha also is a talisman Townsend gets the ball and he gives it to blah 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 gets the ball he gives it to Zaha you see Zaha a talisman So, Wilfred Zaha is a Crystal Palace talisman. And I want you to know that Wilfred Zaha started his career playing for the Crystal Palace youth team. Yeah, Zaha was a youth team player. I mean, Zaha just didn't drop out of the sky and become Crystal Palace's talisman. Zaha didn't just drop out of the sky or drop out of an aeroplane and say, I'm playing for Crystal Palace. No, he had to start from somewhere. And Zaha started from... Crystal Palace's youth team. I was reading an article somewhere and it says that 
Wilfred Zaha has been um, a Crystal Palace player all his life, apart from having that little spell with Manchester United. But I want you to know that Wilfred Zaha is a talisman. I keep on going back to this talisman thing. You never seen Pastor Jimba Alex play football, but I've been injured for 15 years. But it's my dream to be able to kick a ball again and I'll overcome this injury. And you will see the true meaning of a talisman. So most of the great players in the world, when you put my name next to their names, I'm not out of place. I'm a talisman. But it's not about me today. It's about Wilfred Zaha. I want to say that Wilfred Zaha, that's Wilfred Zaha there. He is a, Wilfred Zaha is a top 10 Premier League player. Yeah, Wilfred Zaha is a top 10 Premier League player. And um, I want you to understand that if you name the 10, the 10, the 10, the 10, the 10 best players, the 10 best players in the Premier League, Wilfred Zaha will be there. Wilfred Zaha has got skill, he's got pace, he's got trickery. He's a combination of a, a, he's a, combination of a, a trickery winger and um, an attacking player, an attacking forward. Yeah, that's what Wilfred Zaha is. So I want you to understand that Wilfred Zaha himself is a top 10 Premier League player. And that's a big compliment. I'm not talking about a top 10 Premier League player of all time. I'm talking about a top 10 current Premier League player. I've got respect for Wilfred Zaha because he brings the heat all the time. And I want you to understand that Wilfred Zaha himself, yeah, as a, a Manchester United player because he was signed from from Palace. He was signed from he was signed from he was signed from Palace. Yeah, he was signed from Palace um, at a very young age. Yeah, he was signed from Palace at a very young age. I don't know how how old Wilfred Zaha was, but when he went to Manchester United, when he went to Manchester United, I want you to understand <clears throat> That Manchester United never gave Wilfred Zaha a, a, a very good chance. So it's like they signed this young player, but at the time, Manchester United had players like Danny Welbeck, they had players like Anderson, they had players like Wayne Rooney. I don't even know, maybe Ryan Giggs was in his final year there. So it was difficult for Wilfred Zaha. I mean, if you go to a club like that, the senior players, they wouldn't want you to outshine them. It doesn't matter how, how good you are. Wilfred Zaha was signed as a striker to play for Man United, but they pushed him to the to the wing, to the right wing. So they, they probably bullied him. Hey, yo, 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 young man, go to the right wing or go to the left wing. Can't you see I'm Wayne Rooney? Can't you see I'm, I'm Robin Van Persie? Hey, 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 playing midfield today. So he never had a good chance. But now we're seeing the real Wilfred Zaha because he's getting to his peak. You don't tell me about football because I played football all my life. You think I like talking about football? I don't like talking about football. I'm a player myself. I wanted to play, but I broke my leg. So I don't like talking about football. I, I play myself. If Wolfers had went number 10, me, I went number 7 or number 9. I play. I, I'm a dribbler. I don't, I don't like to come and talk about Wolfers. I play football myself, but I broke my leg. But thank God Almighty, because I became a pastor also. <laughs> yeah, so Zaha. I'm saying to you that if Wilfred Zaha chose to play for England, you can show Zaha one more time, um, cameraman. I'm saying that if Wilfred Zaha chose to play for England, he would be one of England's most dangerous players. Yeah, he would be one of England's most dangerous players. If Wilfred Zaha chose to play for England, he would be one of England's most dangerous players. He would be one of England's most dangerous players. But Zaha must have played for England on maybe on under 20 level, maybe on under 16 level, because I know Zaha grew up in England. Because when Zaha speak on Match of the Day, I'm watching the accent as well. Zaha's got a British accent. Yeah. I know. I know people that are brought I know people that are brought, that are brought up in England. Zaha's got a British accent. Zaha says things like this. Yeah, we used to play football that round, what's it called again? South London in the manor. And when they give me the ball, I like to skip past Matt. He's a South London boy. So he could have played for England. But he chose Ivory Coast, which is um, a good decision as well. Yeah, so Zaha chose to play for England. And now Zaha didn't choose to play for England. He chose to play for 
Ivory Coast. But I'm saying that if Zaha was to choose to play for England, he would be one of England's most dangerous players. You know, I was crying in my house the other day, like a couple of months ago, after Zaha put in um, a, man of, a man of the match performance of Crystal Palace against some team, and the fans, they, 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 they called him a diving monkey. That's the fans there. They called Zaha a diving monkey. I didn't like that. I didn't like that because Zaha doesn't deserve that. Zaha gave his all and all. Zaha gave his all and all. Zaha gave his all and all for Crystal Palace and he's an entertainer. So rather than calling Zaha um, a diving monkey, you should cheer him on. You should like um, give the young player more confidence. You should cheer him on. And the fans were calling him a diving monkey. There was racist chants. But I want to say something to all the black players that play in the Premier League today. Because when I was playing football, most of the black players in the Premier League today, they weren't even born. Listen, I played 1984 Obi Omangwa League in Nigeria. 1984, most of the Premier League players today, black Premier League players today, they weren't even born then. I played 1984, Obi Omangwa. Cup final. What are you talking about? I was about, I was about what, 13 years old? I played. There's thousands of players, thousands of fans there. So what do you want to tell me? So I know what it's like to be abused as well. So when I'm talking, you have to listen to what I'm saying. But I meant to say to Zaha and all the black players that play in the Premier League today that if you're facing racist chants, it's because you are the best. So those racists that are like giving racist chants to Zaha and what's that guy's name? That plays for Tottenham, the left back. Yeah, Daddy Rose. Don't feel no way. The reason why you're facing these racist chances is because you're the best. Danny Rose is the best left back in the Premier League, probably in Europe today. Zaha's facing this, these racist chances because he's the, one of the top 10 players in the Premier League. That's what I'm saying. I'm one of the best players in the world. But you don't know that. But my boots are coming out soon. I'm vexed every day. <laughs> my boots are coming out. My shin pads are coming out. Me, I wear number 10 as well, you know. I, I'm a sick player and I'm known. Right, so so I'm just interested to take heart. I want to say that young black players can go as far as they want to in the game today. Because when I played football in England, Dulwich Hamlet, Carl Shorten FC, I had a couple training sessions with um, Bristol Rovers. The game has changed today. It was it was harder then. Look at the, look at no 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 carry on going this space this space no 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 this space. This space. Don't worry about that. So young black players can go as far as they want to today. If you want to talk about racism, Pele won the World Cup at the age of seventeen. Yeah, Pele Pele won the World Cup at the age of seventeen. So you know he's the best. So young black players, young black players facing racism today, you should take heart from people like Pele. Yeah, because he won it at seventeen. Yeah, Pele won the World Cup. At, Pele won the World Cup at the age of seventeen. You can't tell me Pele didn't face no racism growing up in Brazil at the age of seventeen. A young black player coming through. Of course, he must have faced racism and racist chants. But Pele didn't let that get to him. Pele, you see, he won the World Cup. So young black players today should take heart from this. Danny Rose, Zaha, we've been there before. So keep on going. I want to say that Wilfred Zaha. Yeah, is the most exciting player in the Premier League. Yeah, Wilfred Zaha is the most exciting player in the Premier League. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's a lot of um, exciting players in the Premier League today, but, you know, in the Premier League, we have players like Steve McManaman, we have players like John Barnes, we have players like um, Juninho of Middlesbrough, we have players like um, Gary McAllister, we have players like Tony Yabua, we used to have players like um, um, Mark Viduka. We used to have players like Juan Kwakanu. We used to have players like Thierry Henry. But I'm saying the most exciting player in the Premier League today is Wilfred Zaha. 
I want to say that Zaha also can play for a team like